All right, we need to talk. What's going on, YouTube? And welcome to Goal Line Hockey. It's Kevin Forte, and the NHL is having a massive issue. And if you follow me on Twitter, at Goal Line underscore Hockey, I kind of tweeted it the other day, and it's really getting bad. It is ridiculous, the officiating in the NHL in the playoffs so far. It's been terrible. Now, here's the thing. I could live with some of the calls. If they're just being soft and they're calling everything, then call everything. The problem is it's not consistent in any given game, in any given series across the NHL, or even in any given period of a single game. There is no consistency. And that is where I have the problem with the officiating. So let's take it back. I'm starting off with the Islanders because that's my team. And we're starting there because that's my team. I did go to game four against the Carolina Hurricanes. And I was the first person to say, listen, in, ga in the first three games of the series, listen, the Islanders couldn't score on the power play. Yes, that is an extremely good point. Okay? But there were some calls that were kind of give or take. You start off game four with a five on three because of a bad call in the first five minutes of the game. The game never recovered after that. It was a disaster of an officiating game because of that first penalty. So Zach Parise is pushed into Antirata, gets a two minute penalty for goalie interference. Mind you, you rewatch that play. It's not like a Chris Kreider running in, running the goalie situation. He was pushed by the Hurricanes defenseman into Ranta. And Parise is responsible. Then there is a legit penalty. Now, Hurricanes fans wanted the five-minute on Jack Drury on the puller kit. Not a five-minute penalty. But yes, I agree. It should be a two-minute penalty. But now you've put yourself in a really bad spot. Because you just called a, a very, very questionable, pe questionable penalty right before that. And now you've just handed Carolina a five on three. And now, of course, Carolina scored and killed all the momentum for the Islanders. And the Islanders never recovered after that. But Carolina also is playing the chess match. Ron Brendan Moore said, listen, take as many penalties as you want, guys. Because A, the Islanders seem to be getting most of the calls. But who cares, right? Or B, even if it's... Even if they're not, and even if Carolina's getting the penalties, who cares? The Islanders can't score on the power play anyway. And that's what happened to the Islanders in 2020 when they played in the conference final against Tampa in 2020 and 2021. Is the Islanders could not score on the power play even back then. And they were getting beat because teams were taking liberties against the Islanders because they knew the Islanders can't play us. If they're off a of five-on-five, five, the Islanders cannot play their game, and we've got them right where we want them. And shout out to Rod Brendamore, because that's exactly what he's done with the Hurricanes. And despite Carolina being banged up, no Kasha, no Pacioretty, no Svechnikov, no Taravainen, the team is still winning because they're playing right in... The Islanders are playing right into their hands. And I do have to give credit where it's due to Carolina. But the officiating has been frustrating. Yes, I get that the Taravainen slash in game, what was that, game two? Fair. He should have got a penalty for that. I'm fair with that. In game four, Barzell gets a clearly hit from behind from Brent Burns. He also gets an embellishment. Yet Natchez runs into Brock Nelson at the blue line and kind of embellishes it. Very close. Yet Nelson, who Natchez ran into and fell over, gets the call. And no embellishment. In the very same game. Speaking of last night. Uh, two nights ago. Timo Meyer shoved into the net by e and Igor Shesterkin. Punching him with his blocker. Timo Meyer doesn't get a penalty. Shesterkin gets a penalty. But Parise gets a penalty. When he gets hit into. The inconsistency across the league is infuriating. Last night. Marcus Foligno, a couple of really, really questionable calls. And this is away from my Islanders homerism. You guys look on Twitter. It was a hit behind the net. 
and a hit behind the net was a penalty. You tell me where the penalty was there. Carolina and Carolina fans, listen, I, I have my thoughts about Carolina now. I'm really disappointed by the Carolina Hurricanes fan base. I have to say, I know this doesn't speak to everybody, but the Matt Martin situation with his wife and family is disgusting. That's over the line. It's disgusting. And I don't I really don't get it. That part's disgusting. Plus the fact They've been saying how the Islanders are a dirty, cheap team and this and that, yet they're throwing elbows around and diving everywhere. Kind of counterintuitive there. So I'm very disappointed by a large majority of the Hurricanes fan base. And, um, you know, I definitely wanted to throw that at the end of this video because that's something that I really was disappointed by. Um, again, this doesn't speak to everybody. Everybody has their terrible people in their fan base, but really disappointed this series. I understand. I understand bad blood. I like the Hurricanes PR. They've been quite funny with some of the jokes at Long Island and things like that. But the second you get kids and family involved, there's a certain threshold where Hurricanes fans have crossed that line, and it really is sad. It's really sad, honestly. Um. So speaking of the other series, at the end of the day, just really disappointing how the officiating has been. And it's gotten to the point where it's the referee show, where we're spending multi-hundreds of dollars to go to these playoff games, and the referees seem to take over the game. And again, I don't want to sit here and speak as an, you know, oh, you're an Islanders homer that's upset with the officiating. Listen, I get what Caroline is doing. I'm not blaming the Hurricanes, even the coaching staff or the players. They are getting away with it because the referees are allowing it. And they're just doing what they need to do to win. Right? So, let me know what you guys think down below. The Minnesota Wild situation, the way they've been running the Dallas Stars, they've been killing them. And they lose game four because the officiating. And the Rangers and Devils series. You know, I even have Devils and Rangers fans tell me, listen, man, the... They're cheaping on the Hurricanes. They want the Hurricanes to win. Bruins fans saying they're really they're kind of going for Carolina here. Like when you have other fan bases of teams that would probably hate the Islanders and would love to see them lose, telling you that the series is a little bit the officiating just hasn't been good. It's ridiculous. It really, really is. But Again, this has been an officiating problem. It's been a problem for a long time. But all I ask, if you're going to make the call, just be consistent with it. I don't care. I get that you're going to make calls. They're trying to be more strict with the penalties and stuff like that. I'm all for it. But just be fucking consistent. All I ask for is consistency. And there's been no semblance of consistency for a given game, for a given period, for a given series. Even across the entire first round, there are multiple games. Even in the, the Oilers-Kings game last night, in overtime, a very questionable dry cycle call in Game 3 costed them. And the Kings won that Game 3 because a really, really weak call. And officiating is bad across all sports. I know in baseball, in the MLB, been having some major issues. The NHL obviously is having issues. It's going to get to the point where NHL fans, you're trying to grow fan bases and grow the sport. You're losing people that are hardcore fans because of just how piss poor the officiating has been. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm really heated right now. I'm really upset. And I'm trying not to be a homer and I'm trying to be as subjective as possible. But... It is really getting to the point where the officiating is really damaging the the Christmas of the NHL season, which is the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And I'm really, really disappointed. So let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.